happy Friday! So how many of you actually are as excited as me? If yes, right, please help me like this post, okay? All right, so I hope y'all have uh, your dinner, huh? Because later on, right, it's going to be something very heavy and fun. And gonna, we're going to do some intense workout, right? So just kidding. Yeah, actually, right, today uh, we have, uh, we are very, very honored, right, to have our guest, right, from Malaysia. All right, so I guess uh, I can see, uh, I guess there are some Malaysia friends here. And uh, and also, we definitely will have our Singapore fans over here. All right, so hi to all our Singapore and Malaysia friends. And if you are from uh, the other countries that, you know, like to watch this, please help me comment if you are from other countries so that I know that you are here to support us and I uh, can say hi to you. So, all right, so if you are from Singapore, please type Singapore. If you're from Malaysia, please type Malaysia so they know we are we know that like uh, we have all different nationalities right in the house today. Right. So it is always very, very blessed, right? To live in this era, right? We can actually gather right in such a small screen over here, right? Yeah, because uh technology is borderless now nowadays, right? Yep. So if you just come in, you know, please also please remember to like and share this post so that more people, right? We get to understand, I mean, like know what we are doing and also get to ex be excited with the interesting content that our guest speaker is going to share today. Okay, now, how many of you are very, very excited to find out how to swim without a pool, which is our topic today? If you are excited, please type me. All right, so, let, so that I know that oh, everybody is excited. If not, I will have to spend more time you know, to actually share more interesting stuff for you okay all right so just a little background myself my name is evelyn i'm the founder from ministry of avengers so just not sure that you have watched our video earlier on we are a sports media company so uh, we actually feature uh, sports travel companies and uh, we also have our membership loyalty programs to actually share perks and great deals uh, for our members and as well as uh, we also provide digital marketing solutions to uh, sports and travel industry as well okay so if you want to find out more can always uh, go to our page you know like uh, our facebook page like and also follow us and most importantly right you know like at the comment there there is this uh, notification of li all live things right so that you get you know you can click on that so they get notified with uh, our all our live events i will i assure you that there are more and more exciting events that are coming soon Right, we all know that right now COVID nineteen, right, that we are forced to stay at home. We can't do our sports, so that's why we have this sports night series, right, that we want to feature, uh, experts from different sports industry, so that people get to know what are they doing and how do they survive this, and also for our sports lover, right, to always you know get ourselves ready, excited, and also when this COVID nineteen is over, and we can go back to do the sports that we love. Okay, so thank you for your support. Please like and share this post because it's going to be very exciting because we are not just you not know, doing for swimming industry. We are also doing, like last week, we did for hiking industry. The week before, we did for climbing industry and so on and so forth. Okay, so if you love, I mean, like, like, to, uh, like our, our sports night and would love us to uh, share more different uh, sports industry, you know, please let, let us know. You can comment what kind of sport industry that you want to find want us to feature and want to find out more okay you can type you know i don't know like skating or you know paragliding i don't know just 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 comment okay so then we know and we will give you uh the exclusive content about that all right okay thank you so much all right so today right um i also want to take this chance right to sh uh, shout out for those people who have signed up for our members actually we have a care package for you which is especially from the oops whoa okay i think uh so power already oh okay the light is back again okay sorry about technical glitches give me a while huh? okay so so basically right, you are eligible to access your care package and we have virtual rewards card membership card for you with a full library of sports information all right and also you get to you know, access to every episode we could consolidate new information from different sports and in the travel industry, and you will get to get lifetime access to all this information, like videos, and because you want to support everybody during this COVID-19, okay? Our membership is just like $2 in order to support our team. We all know that you know, this sports industry was being hit, right? 
Okay, so today we also have a special giveaway because all of our Facebook Live episode, right? We will give a, do a special giveaway to our audience here. Okay, so if you like and share this uh, Facebook Live, okay, tag three persons and comment swim in 12. Okay, you will get to have one month unlimited trials of uh, swimming, uh, swimming lessons online. Okay, from our guest speaker today. All right, so it's actually in our next slide. Okay, all right. So if you are interested, no, please help us to like and also tag three friends that you think they can add values with. Or, and also you get to tag them and also like the post as well. Okay, so that you can get to enjoy this unlimited free swimming lesson. All right. So today, I guess most of our people here are very, very excited because of uh, the great topic that we have uh, uh, with EJ. EJ is actually a friend of mine. And I guess that's why everybody's are here today. And uh, EJ, right, uh, I mean, when I met him, right, he's actually, we, we actually get connected very fast. Why? Because, right, we started, uh, we started, came out, I mean, we started our sports business at a very young age because of our passion, because of, we saw the gap in the industry we want to came out and to add values to them. All right, so EJ, I actually came out at the age of 24 from a very, from the youngest associate marketing manager in IBM, and he came out to do his own business in the swimming industry. Guess what? The best thing is, right, he even named his company Swimming 12. Why? Because Swimming 12 means what? They get, he wants to guarantee people, uh, the students, right, get to learn how to swim in 12 hours. If you get to learn more than that, right, he will give you free lesson. All right, best is the money that money back guarantee as well. All right, so who the, who dare to actually make such a big promise to the industry? All right, so there's only EJ. Okay, so uh, we have actually a short video clip to share about his uh, business and himself, and uh, we're gonna like share with you the video clip right now. All right, so can we have the video up? So we know there are four strokes, okay? Which of the three strokes were the original stroke? Let's go! Up, up, up! Yeah, try to be Superman! Very good, Diana. Alisa, I guess you try. Like straight, Alisa. Good, Sophia. If you think this is correct, you do this for happy face. my luck is back again okay so right um if you like the video like just now please like you know like this post and share this to more people because right ej is gonna share us more exciting stuff right and also before i invite him can i get y'all to help me like like this post like 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 just keep pressing like okay so that ej know that we are very excited to see him all right so without further ado let's welcome ej Hello, hello. Hi, Evelyn. Thanks for the cool Hi, editing of the video. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, no problem. Thanks no problem. How are you? Here. Love it. No problem. I, I How love are you? Your I, I love your, your video, your promotional video, where you actually go in your swimsuit and swim in your house. And it's so cute. Yeah, thanks for having that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I guess uh, a lot of people actually commented that as well. Yeah, I think a lot of people are very excited to see this. Okay, so EJ, maybe I, I, I just, I think everybody here, I want, are very, very curious about you also. And they want to find out, like, why do you do this? Yeah, can we maybe we start with my, my first questions to you, right? Is mm -hmm. that um, maybe how you share about how you started and share about your story. Uh, how I started. So basically, uh, I was working in a corporate company. I love my job a lot. Then at night, I was uh, teaching swimming. At that time, more like to cow loy lah, so <laughs> find girlfriend at that time. Yeah, so that was teaching for fun, and eventually I start to meet like friends where they actually learn long time. They learn like six months, eight months. Still, they're not let go of the board. So then I realized, hey, how come? And then they say they learn from certified coach. They learn from uh, people who are state swimmers. Then I was wondering, hey, why why it take so long? Huh? Then I started teaching. Then I teach first class can let go of the board. Third class can swim breaststroke already. Fourth class can float on the back. So then I, I don't have a teaching background. I'm not like a professional swimmer. I'm not even like a teacher, you know. Then I realized it's, it's, it's not difficult to teach. You just have to break down things into mini steps. Just have to uh, use less jargon, keep it to as simple language as possible, even broken Malaysian language as well can, as long as the student can understand. Yeah, so then from there, I really enjoyed the process. 
I, I, sign, I see that a lot of people actually um, kind of change their personality as well. Some are yeah, afraid of water, they're not take risks. I saw your video, you have like the cliff jumping, right? A lot of people are first time yeah. do cliff jumping. So that's, that's the same feeling for people who are actually afraid of water. They're not even lift their legs up. So I feel I find a lot of uh, pleasure from seeing people conquering their fear. Then from there, I, I get more and more students. And I see there's a chance that I can actually uh, help improve the industry where I can help to teach in a shorter time, more efficient. And that's why I started experimenting. Then now it's like 10 years already. Next month is actually our 11 years anniversary. Wow, yeah. congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you have a business. I mean, like a lot of people say, right? Oh, a, a new business has hard to survive for ten years. Oh, uh, for for three years, and after that, another mm. trenches is five, five years. Another trenches is ten years, and then you pass that three trenches. Congratulations, congratulations! <laughs> it, it, it's very, it's very heartwarming to see that, like, um, you, how you turn your bis your passion into a business and make it, you know, like so successful and also add values to a lot of people' life. And uh, just now what you mentioned also that, uh, yeah, you know, right, when we, when we last time when we just started um, swimming, right, we just, we just really straight away go down to the pool. Yeah, it wasn't easy. Yeah, yeah it wasn't yeah, easy. Yeah, it's like, not easy. <laughs> yeah. To have a lot of assistance, no? even my, my parents think I'm crazy. Uh, hey, why nice career in IBM, so smooth already. Uh, why you go into coaching swimming? So it's, it's like a big downgrade uh, for, for my parents, for people around me. But when I see the future that I think actually got, got future on this swimming, it's just that how do we make it exciting? So I think people, uh, there, there's so many types of business. Uh. Even bubble milk tea is just a drink and you can make it so exciting as well. No? So I, I think there's always uh, any, any industry that's possibility of making it uh, big, making it more fun. You know? So I really enjoyed the process so far. Hmm. Yeah, I totally agree. Wow. Now you talk about bu bubble tea, I miss my bubble tea. So oh, yeah. it's an essential <laughs> thing, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> so just like, like based on what you share, right? So when you started swimming, do you see yourself, right, make it making it as a career? Because you say that no along the way, right, there is a lot a lot of naysayers also. So I just want to find out more about why why swimming and why this industry and it's so competitive. It's a I would say a red ocean, uh, you know, every Anybody can open it as well. Maybe you would like to hear your, your view about this. Uh, on my point of view, when it comes to red ocean, I think when I went in, I don't see it as a red ocean. Because I, at that time, I noticed that a uh, majority of the coaches are focusing more on competitive, where they, their goal is to build up the next Joseph schooling you know, of, of their country. So then they can be proud, or oh, I'm the coach of the Joseph schooling. So what happens is when I see the, the industry, it's... Uh, going towards that, that direction, I, I notice a lot of coaches focus more on the fast learning students. Those who can swim very fast, those who can, can pick things up, those who have very natural abilities. You know? Then there's a lot of students who, who are being left out, of, park aside, uh, blow bubble for many months or hold the ball and kick for many months. So I started being curious about this market. So I said, maybe this is something that the coaches don't want, then maybe I can take it. Lah. So I don't see it as like a red ocean. So when I, I went into it, I said, okay, I just want to teach people who are extremely afraid of water. Those who learn very long and they cannot get it, the misfits, uh, those who I always chuck aside on. So that was like my main target market. Then I didn't realize that it's actually a very big market. So it's by accident that I just wanted to help those, those leftovers and eventually it becomes something quite big. But nowadays, uh, after I've been in business for a while, then I can see more and more people are focusing on these markets. Well, the, the, they call it the learn to swim uh, market, uh, the beginners market. Yeah. So when I started, I didn't see it as a red ocean. In fact, our business constantly growing year by year until today. For 10 years, we haven't dropped until this year, <laughs> until MCO. Yeah. That's great. That's great. I, I guess, right, it's like you have the first mover advantage. I have the foresight to see that about this 95, the rest of the 95% market. Because while everybody is aiming for the top 5%, you're actually mm -hmm. already like uh, target for the 95% that set you in the advantage now. Yeah, uh, which is very good. I hope I can I, I, I should learn from you earlier on because I used to love swimming. But okay. because my sis my dad will actually send me and my sister uh, for swimming classes and then after that send us for competition. Okay. And then my sister, because she's taller than me, she has longer legs, so she always wins the competition. <laughs> I'm always the second or the third one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I said, oh, I don't want to for me, I give up. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, correct. Yeah, so so it's very um, heartening to actually hear, hear from you that actually right for those people who actually you know like people are neglected and always like the misfits in this sports right you actually are the one that guide them 
yeah, mm. you are like the light in them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm one of them as well. Sometimes, like, like certain spot, I'm very slow learner, you know. So then I was noticed if, if people are impatient with me, right? Maybe they, they lack certain skills. So when I see how do I help these people where, where I can improve my, myself as a coach, any problem is like my problem as a coach, then any type of student I can help. So that was like my, my mindset when I went to it. And it kind of helped because uh, I noticed uh, when we get more and more experience, right, the, the tendency to say that, oh, I've been teaching long time already. I've been so experienced in this, you, you don't understand. So then most of the time that the, the blame will be on the student. Yula didn't come on time, you're always late, or you didn't follow my instruction. It's always blaming the students. So when I see that, no, it's actually myself. If the student is not interested, maybe actually I'm not interesting. If the student is not uh, constantly chasing to come, maybe my lesson is not addictive enough. So I'm always looking at what can I improve. And until today, our coaches all follow the same philosophy. It's our side. Then from there, we grow very fast. Yeah, that's right. the side. That's very good to have the correct mindset and the right abilities to be. It's a natural instinct of like being a teacher to want to you know, empower them, to make them the next Yoda, right? Mm, yeah, yeah that's so, so that's very good. That, I, I feel that your attitude and your, I think that's the, the secret of you where having this business going very big is that you always take responsibility of your coach and yourself, right? So, so that the student right, will not be blamed as well. That's great. That's great. So, and just now you mentioned, right, you're not targeting the first top 5%. Then I realized something. How come, right, you have Daniel Bego, the national swimmer? So for those who don't know, uh, uh, Daniel Bego is actually one of the Malaysia's most promising, outstanding swimmer. It's like the Joseph Schooling in Singapore. Yeah, so even uh, actually, right, we, we, we have a slide of that also, right, that we did. He actually uh, won a lot of uh, prizes and stuff like that. Also, that's EJ, huh? <laughs> yeah, I was, like, I was like, came out late, huh? Yeah. So this is uh, Daniel Bego, okay? So, yeah. So can you share, like, how do you manage to convince um, him to join a company? And also, why he don't want to teach the 5%, top 5% of people, but teach the 95%? <laughs> okay. I, I think it's also by luck where the, uh, there was a time where he wanted to go into college. So he, he was looking for a pool that's near his college where he can also train. So then he rented my uh, PJ Palm Sports Center. I made it like uh, pretty cheap for him because I know he was a national athlete and whatever he's doing is impacting our country. So I just uh, made it possible for him. And believe it or not, I actually don't even know who Daniel Beko is before, <laughs> before I meet him. Because I was always focusing on the beginners, the adults, those who are very afraid of water. So competitive is like not even in my, my mind at all. So I don't even know who Daniel Beko is <laughs> when I first met him. You know? So until I met him, then I realized, hey, this guy is really... Very interesting. He's he's always kind. He's always polite. He's, he's already so high up there already. He's like the fastest swimmer, breaks so many national record already. But still, still very humble. Then we got a very uh, positive, funny attitude. He's always teasing us, making making fun, making jokes around. So one day, um, I think it was just just a crazy crazy us. My wife just asked, "Hey, what do you think about coaching and swimming, Trevor?" He said, "Okay, maybe you can explore." So it's just a, a simple us. So from there, uh, I was a bit skeptical because for me, I always have that mindset that uh, good swimmers may not be good coach. So people who can do the job may not be a good teacher, right? So then I wanted to test first before uh, starting a, a class where there's a lot of students. So I tested with my son first. Uh, so my son was like a, the first guinea pig. <laughs> then when I sent my son to learn swimming with Daniel, the first day itself, I realized he's giving something way more than, than swimming. To a point that I feel right, whether my son become a national swimmer or not, not important anymore. Really. To me, it's like the the confidence that he bring to my son, the the attitude, the the mannerism, a lot of all these all these things. I find it is is way more valuable than the swimming lesson itself. So immediately I fall in love. I said, "Hey, this is very different. This is like a good swimmer and a good coach as well." So I immediately say yes. I told my wife, "Okay, I think this is very special. This is very unique." So let's let's get the new bagel in. Then we started our, our classes. Yeah, so that's that's how we started. And eventually now he's he's very patient with students and he's he likes the to support the underdog. So there's actually a lot of big companies out there <laughs> always uh, giving him offers you know, from a different state, like double or triple the salary. But he's always like, ah, it's okay, I love my signature family here. So I'm very grateful to, to Daniel Bago for being so so humble and always think about us. Uh. 
So, but I, I, I don't hold him. I say, hey, anytime, if you think there's a better career ahead of you, please go ahead. Because at the end of the day, what's good for you is good for the country. As long as the, the country can grow, the country, because of you, can have more better swimmers, go ahead, live your passion. And, and he, so far, his passion is here now, but I don't like hold him with a tight rope. Anytime he want to go, he can. So that's, that's the relationship that we have here together. And it's beautiful. Even this uh, uh, swimming online, no, no one's getting paid. And he said, hey, I, I just want to volunteer. just want to help out. So he's, he's that kind of person. He's like super kind. Yeah? Wow, I think you are so blessed. I think things happen for a reason. Lah, because you at the start, right, your, you and your coaches uh, have a, the right culture and a positive mindset. right? That's why you attract him, the big fish. <laughs> so for him to actually work with you i hope he's watching this uh, and then uh we like he can uh, know this that you are actually sharing so much credits to him right yeah so he just finished his class so i think he's still having dinner now <laughs> okay good 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 so for those right who i mean i like, love the sharing you know like we have more actually more about like ej is gonna share this right please help us to share this facebook live remember to share this facebook live right not open a watch party yeah, so that we can track your questions and your feedback and your so that we can ask ej okay so we will share remember tag three persons will get um uh benefit from this and remember comment swim in 12 all right in the chat box all right so that we know that you are here and then we will give you this uh very very uh sp special giveaway from uh, swimming 12 all right this unlimited 12 right a trial for swimming lesson hopefully then you go teach us uh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah it would be great uh, for you to help him to teach us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, there will be some class that you meet him. Oh, right. That's good. That's good. Okay, so just to um, understand a bit, right, uh, is because we all know that like COVID-19 is happening and um, swimming definitely need very high touch and contact in, in terms of the, doing this sports. How do you all, um, uh, I would think we'll start with uh, how you're being impacted by this uh, COVID-19 and how do you overcome this? How do we cope with this, I would say? So, uh, in fact, I think it, it's the same for all swimming industry now, across the, uh, not across the world. Our more country a bit different, but for at least Malaysia, Singapore, uh, Vietnam, China, uh, we, we cannot teach at all. The pool is like totally closed. So our business is only in swimming and managing sports center. So it's like no pool, zero income for the next few months. So until even when the pool is open, there'll be a lot of limitation where um, you can only have so many people in the pool. Uh, we need to check whether they've went uh, overseas or not. Um, there's a lot of social distancing, new new measurements that we need to take. But for now, um, there's no indication where when the pool is going to open. So for now, we totally fo focus on this online program. So when we created this, this online program, right, we was, was thinking of how do we make it so valuable that even when the pool is open, people want both. People want the pool experience and they also want this online experience. So how do we like make it so valuable that it's not something to just support us at this time. It's more like they learn, they go, go into it, then they, they learn about swimming, they enhance their knowledge about swimming and they can uh, improve their science as well. And what we did was we incorporate science and swimming together. So when they learn swimming, they learn concepts of um, like what makes them float, what makes them sing, how do they swim faster, what's the shape that they need to, to go into, and why, what are the concepts. Let's say, for example, we talk about more, more air will float, less air will sink. So then we'll show like small small experiments, show experiments where, where, where we put an air inside a rabina pack, then it will float. Then we reduce the air, then it'll start to sink. So they say, oh, interesting concept, they can visualize it already. So with that, then we start teaching things like, um, let's say, what else? use this same concept like for example the submarine submarine also when in, in order to make them float they put in a bit of air then when they want to sink then they reduce the air so there's a lot of uh, concepts like this we try to introduce inside the, uh, the lessons mm. so then when nice, people nice. Oh, this is fun you know I, I don't mind signing this up even after after the pool is open great 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 i think this is why a lot of people are curious about right now the the hot topic that we're talking about how do we swim without a pool all right so which is the next question that i'm going to ask you but before that i just want to uh to to add on right when i share this post i realized a lot of people are right, commented mahjong do you have this uh do you have this do you have this feedback also <laughs> that, uh? a lot of people thought that I'm going, we are going to share mahjong today you know? <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, I, I was like scratching my 
my head. No, I'm going to do swimming. That's why I need to do the video so that people don't know that I'm not showing mahjong today. I'm showing real the swimming online today. <laughs> all right, all right. So I'll hand it to you. Uh, I think you have something to show us, right? Like what uh, to strengthen what you share your point just now, right? Ah, okay. Can you share with us? Yeah. Uh, you want to share uh, an example? Huh? Okay, so let me. Yeah. Just... So bas- Yeah. So well, well. So while EJ is uh, setting up, right, I just want to share. That, like, if you have the any questions, right, please comment so that right we can get um EJ right to answer because it's gonna it's a very rare time to have him right to come to share with us. He's very very busy every day. He got a lot of interviews one. <laughs> okay, EJ, are you ready? Yeah. So basically, uh, I just pull a few clips here and there just to see what's the elements okay. inside our lessons. So usually we, we start show. with the greetings first, huh? How excited are we to work out today? Me. All right, so Dania says yes. Richel says yes. Sean says yes. So usually the, the greeting parts, we, we kind of uh, keep it more interactive. We get people to raise their hands and share their name and even introduce each other. So there's no awkward silence. Because sometimes people are late for class, got technical issues. Huh? Instead of waiting for everyone, so we create a lot of uh, ice breaking at the beginning. Then we'll continue with the warm ups. Start with 30 seconds of jumping jacks again to get the blood flowing. And go, 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 go. On your feet, on your feet. So, what we did was we have a little bit of uh, warm up. And before uh, we even start the exercise, we give them a, like a list of things that they need to do. So, we teach one by one. We show each of the exercise, what is it about before we go into exercise. So if not, if they go into exercise immediately, sometimes they get lost. Then they spend like the first 10, 15 seconds figuring out what you're trying to do, you know? So we introduce one by one, then only we go into the exercise. Up, 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 yep. Try to be Superman. Very good, Diana. Alisa, I can see you trying. Leg straight, Alisa. Good, Sophia. Yep. But- so when it comes to the, the exercise workout, you see, now you can actually learn a lot of exercise online in, in YouTube for free, right? More better design, more better uh, technology, more better sound, more length time, more length inside the, the video, you know? So you can use all this yeah. for free. So what really actually makes us a bit special is we, we personalize it. We, we look at every student's screen and we say, okay, you can uh, lift your legs a little bit higher. We try to edit to have better posture. So it feels very personalized. So when it's very personalized for them, then sometimes when they're about to give up, they say, hey, a bit more, a bit more. So they can feel like the coach is actually there to motivate them as well. So that's our exercise part. Good, Sophia. Question for the day. So we already know there are four strokes, okay? But can you take a wild guess? Which of the three strokes were the original stroke? So we add in a bit of quiz here and there as well, just to get students to learn a bit more uh, new facts about uh, swimming lessons. I, I mean, about the swimming world. So go into technical uh, questions like, let's say if you want to start calculating their strokes. So if you want to reach a certain time uh, in certain uh, a distance, so how do you do your calculation? What's the goal they need to meet per, per lap? So we go into this kind of uh, interesting things that you don't usually think about in the pool. Lah. So it's a very good uh, technical question to add inside the class. Then end of the day, end of the day we add in the uh, homework as well. I do want you to go and search on about who is Katie Ledecky. Okay, just read up about her, know some facts, know some times, and all these kind of things, okay? Just treat it as a fun learning thing. So we add in like uh, simple homeworks just to get them uh, to research more about the swimming world. There are sometimes people are not too serious about swimming. Sometimes it's just a casual thing where it's just for fun. So when they start to, to know more about the swimming world, they start to know about, oh, who's the champion? If not look like me, I don't even know who Danny Pego is at the beginning. So now they start to know like who's Kitty the like the Lucky, who's uh, Michael Phelps. So you get to know more, more people inside the swimming world. And that's kind of uh, make it more interesting for, for those who are actually, especially in the competitive uh, side, where they're in the competitive side, they they need some uh, exercise because if not then they'll they'll have no pool sessions for the next three months then they might turn fat or they might even forget about uh, certain certain moves huh? so these are the exercises we do to build their core wow wonderful that's just very very impressive all right so for those who just came here right this is ej right from swimming 12 he actually sharing about his swimming virtual i mean online lesson as well and i i know that you actually not just uh for this uh it's not just workout right you have theory as well correct yeah so and also more importantly right um i think i just have to let the the audience know a bit this is only about seven to fifteen years old 
Yeah, sorry to say all those adults, uh, let the kids do first. <laughs> yeah, I think a lot of adults will be a bit disappointed. But no worries, you can always right, uh, buy this and like, you know, get hold of this and share with your friends, kids, you know, and, and or even your kids, and then you can do it together with them. Can they? The parents can join in or not? Yeah, yeah, usually it's, it's for the kids only, but sometimes you can see a, a big peak in the corner, the parents start pulling the mat, they start exercising together, so, but there's no personalization <laughs> for the parents, so, but the parents can go together if they want. That's great, that's great, that's great. Do you have a, a more videos to show? Oh yeah, I got, I got one more, uh, probably, that's yeah. the exercise part. So usually for competitive swimmer who, who wants a bit more exercise, want to build their core, uh, continue at least some physical exercise while waiting for the pool to open, so that's that, we call it the EVO online. So this one is the swim science. So this is how we incorporate science and swimming together. So uh, probably just, uh, sh let me just share this video. All right, so while EJ is uh, setting it out, right? Also comment, all right? Remember, right, ask your questions about it and like and share this post because later on, right, it's going to be more exciting. Okay, remember to share, tag three friends who like, who love to know about this swimming stuff, right? And also comment swim in 12, okay? Let's support them. Okay, again, uh, EJ, please share. Okay, so this is a little bit of element for the swim sign. So at the beginning, we also start with a greeting as well. Hi, Siren. Can you raise your hands up? Okay, by the way, that's Kaylee and Jinwei. You can raise your hands up. Uh, this is Jinwei and Sushan. Hands up. So then uh, that's the same greeting part. Then we go into the interactions. Raise your hands up. If it's not, maybe you just give me a thumbs up. So for the swimming science, the interaction part is very important because there's so many online courses out there already. And I've noticed, because even my son are attending a few online courses, uh, most of them are from school or from tuition. Many times it's a one-way thing. The teacher talk, 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 then they just listen, listen, then answer, answer. So it's almost like they are stoned for a long time. You know? So what we do is we incorporate the, the, the interaction part where they, they, if it's answer number one, you show a love sign. It's answer number two, you show another bigger love sign. So they start moving instead of just sitting and listening. So then we even have uh, things that actually get them to move around, like a treasure hunt. A home, in your home, I would like all of you to find two things. First thing, an item with a big surface. Number two, find an item with a very small... Yeah, so when it comes to the, the treasure hunt, what we did is, let's say we talk about... Uh, a big surface and small surface. If big surface, you will move slower. So if you are, as you have a smaller surface, you move faster. Just like a uh, sports car is designed to be flatter, so you move faster. And a lorry, if it's very tall, there's a lot of wind resistance. Same for swimming as well. So find me like a, an item that's big surface or small surface. So then they start going around the house and start finding things. Oh, this one big surface, this one small surface. Or show me things that are waterproof. So we find a lot of uh, these kind of things for them to go around and start moving rather than just looking at the screen. Yeah? Then same thing, we we'll end, end with a quiz. I will say that more, more what? More, more surface, uh, huh? Come again. Good job. Yeah, so the quiz are very important because sometimes when we teach, right, uh, we may accidentally unload, like we try to give you a lot of information. So when we teach, one of the, the key thing I always have in my lesson is, it's not about how much we teach. It's about how much the student can actually receive. So one of the ways to receive better is to actually bring out, recall out the information again. So quiz is a very good way where we try to test them back. What did they learn earlier? So when they, whenever they can uh, recall back all those information, it will stay there. The information will stay there for a long time. So even one day, once the pool is open, already, they understand why they, they are doing what they do. Yeah. So there's the quiz part. Then we also add in some experiment just to make it fun. So I put inside the water with air inside the plastic. I fill up the bottle, I fill up the glass with water mm -hmm. first, and then it still floats. Yeah, so when we unload, we take off the, the air from the ravina, then you can see it sink already. So then we, we show, we create this kind of uh, interesting um, experiments, just for the students to say, ooh, interesting. Then sometimes we get them to do it as well. Let's say we ask them to take a, a small pail of water, then we get us to put a paper clip. Yeah, so when we talk about surface tension, if you, you don't put it as slowly, then it will just bump very easily. So if you put it slowly, then you can actually see it can float, although the paper clip is very heavy. So we, we have this kind of experiment just to keep it fun. So that's that's the elements wow. of it. Yeah. 
this is very impressive. I, I guess I, I, I keep listening again and again from you, Sherry. I'm still very, very impressed with what you're doing. It's very innovative and creative, right? And I'm not sure that I have seen any in, and I, I don't see anything like this in the swimming industry. Yeah, so you all actually really, your team really put in effort, right, to incorporate like science on all this theory and then make it in the applications to real life so that it helps the kids, right, to you know, visualize and apply easier. Which I think this one, even the school, right, you know, like haven't reached that level yet. Yeah, which is, I think that you are doing a good job. Yeah, so for those who are in watching, right, just to let you all know, uh, uh, insider news, EJ, don't mind, I share, right, that team, oh, yeah. right, actually do, doing this, right, during the MCO, right, which is like the lock, lockdown or circuit breaker in Singapore, right, and then you all are not taking any income for this, right, while, while developing this. Yeah, when, when it started, everyone, everyone's like just volunteer. Because it was like a crazy idea. I think most coaches don't even think about making money. The coaches is more worried that whether they'll still remember the, the coach's face or not, <laughs> whether they still remember the coach's name or not, whether they can still remember about swimming or not. I think that was the main concern earlier. But I was thinking that it's it's a reality if coaches don't make money, then slowly the, the passion will slowly die away. And then because no choice, my passion cannot make money, and then they will start doing other things with you. So I wanted to create something that I can actually lift up the, the coach's spirit and constantly put money on, on the coach's table. So eventually, once we start uh, launching this and the money is already coming in, I give all the profits to the coach. At, at this time, I have enough savings, so I'm just keep letting all the coaches take all the money. It's, for me, it's until the pool is open, then we think about money. But for now, it's just focus more on building the coaches first. Wow, it's very, very touching you know, that. Like, it's really the true leader to get, like, let the let the staff or the coaches right, eat first, you know, let them be paid first, right? Because when the coaches are happy, they can teach a happy student as well, right? Yeah, yeah that's so that's very, very you know, but great it's all, for you. It's all them. Like Coach Dashi, she's like leading leading this this program. She's here, actually. So she's the one that... <laughs> Hi, Coach Dashi. <laughs> she's the one that says, hey, I also don't want to get paid. You know, when we go into the sharing part, huh, she said, oh, I also don't want to get paid. Just give it to, to people who need it first. And there's a lot of our coaches are so going into this mode. So it, there's a lot of kindness in the in the company and end of the day, none of us focus so much on the money part. Most of us focus more on how do we deliver value to the students and enjoy what we do. And hopefully we can still keep our careers after the, the MCO part. So that's, that's the main goal. Yeah, I agree with you. Like this society actually needs more kindness. When all the kindness come together, right, we can we create something, greater possibilities for the future of everybody as well. So for those right who really like Know what uh, EJ is doing, right? Please, you know, at least comment. Thank you. I right? <laughs> really give it a lot, and also thank you to all the coaches, right, for the effort. You are really, really doing a good job for the future generations. And uh, who knows that all, all these your know, kids, right, one day, right, will be a a coach or someone or a national swimmer to represent a company, other uh, country, right? So and then they were like shared about this. Luckily, right, during MCO that time, right, he got to learn something. Right, it's always very heartwarming to do that, to give first, you know, yeah. All right, so I think, right, let's summarize just now what you have shared, right? We have actually uh, uh, the string size program slide that uh, we will just recap for what you shared. I think we have some questions also, right? Can we also bring up the, the questions if um, anyone is asking, all right, while we are bringing up the slide. Okay, from Hang, hi. Recently, I heard that you actually opened uh, support for all the swimming coaches in Malaysia. <laughs> wow, what drives you to do that? So meaning what? Meaning you train the swimming coaches all around Malaysia? Yeah, would you like to share? So what we did was uh, after we, we launched this project, then we actually start seeing money coming in for the coaches already. It was not a lot of money, but it was a start. Then I start worrying about a lot of other swimming coaches in Malaysia. I start thinking, if we don't make money, uh, they also don't make money. What if in future there'll be less and less coaches? And I see this in like Taekwondo in our country. Taekwondo used to be like very, a very big sport. Everyone's uh, interested in it. But when the coaches for Taekwondo starts to reduce, there's less interest in the market for that already. So I'm very worried that what if a lot of coaches start losing their, their job, they cannot make money doing this, then they, they stop teaching. Then a lot of people will be thinking about swimming less. They'll be thinking about Esport, esport is one of like the, the newest thing that's catching up so far. I, I love games, but when it comes to, to 
to sports, huh? if we don't take care of it, it will slowly die off, huh? no matter how in interesting it is, no matter how, how passionate we are. Huh? So to me, I wanted to have more coaches to make a living and continue their career. So we actually break down the, the team. The team actually come up with the formula, like how do we actually make this work? What was the elements like? Just now, the, the, the few videos that I show you, that was actually just to break down what is the formula in order to make this thing work. So then we show the, the coaches, then we teach them, we invite them. There was about 100 of us coaches that come and attend. Swimming school, a freelance coach. Then we just teach them for free. We didn't even think about commission, <laughs> even think about income. We just say, try it, do it. There will be a lot of students uh, who can't wait to support you. They're just looking for opportunities to support you as well. So just try it, start somewhere. And we also, when we started, we... We weren't, we weren't sure whether we can do it, but we just chiong, we just go. Then as long as the sincerity is there, the, you really wanted to give students real value, you will come up with uh, exciting things that students really want. Yeah, so then eventually it, it become a thing and a lot of uh, coaches were, were thanking, thanking us for doing this. I think a lot of coaches are here. Uh, Coach uh, Alex, Alex is a big supporter. He's also teaching from another Hi, Coach Alex. Here. Yeah. I All just right, met good, a, a new friend today, Elson. Elson is uh, from Singapore. Yeah, so that we, we have right. more we can talk in the future as well. Yeah, thanks for joining in. Yeah, there'll be a Thank lot of coaches. Thank you so much. Thank you so much to all the great coaches also. Yeah, thanks for joining in. Thank you for watching this as well. Yeah, I think we have a second question. For the swim size experiment, what age student is suitable for us to teach this concept or conduct such experiments? This is a very good question. Yeah, so EJ, what do you think about this? We start from uh, seven years old to, to all the way to 15 years old. So that, that is, they, they, are in, they, they have enough vocabulary, they will understand enough, it will be fun enough for them, the attention span is there. So I think that age is, is, is good, seven to 15. Okay, so I hope I answer your question, eh, Farah. And uh, we have another question from Eunice. My son attend the swim science class. It is very fun and he learned a lot from your swim science class. If even you know how to swim, but you you might not know why this class really good. But even the Evo, oh okay, so it's actually she's giving a testimonial. Like even the Evo class is good for the kids to do some exercises even at home. All right, and uh, wow, you actually have a happy client here, right? To have a <laughs> uh, size and uh, Evo class. Thank you, Eunice, as well. Yeah, I think what you wanted to highlight. Have, uh... Yeah, I think yeah, what correct, correct. to highlight was the the why part. Just all this while when oh. we're teaching swimming, right? We teach about this is what you do. Let's say, for example, we say, okay, keep your, keep your hands straight. So just say, keep your hands straight, you swim faster. Then we keep teaching other students, then we adjust the students. We just tell them what to do. But online, we can actually share the why. Why do you actually keep your hands straight? What are other things that have this shape, like, a, like this uh, triangle shape as well? So then we can show examples like the ship, can show examples like uh, airplane, rocket. So then they start to see the resemblance. So then from that, hey, this is quite interesting. Now I know why my hands need to be straight already. So once the, the why is so important, right? We don't need to remind them anymore. We don't need to remind them to keep their hands straight. They will know why. Yeah. So wow, wonderful, that's, wonderful. That's what she shared. That's great. Let, let's summarize like, well, what are the, the programs that you have, right? Just now we mentioned Sim Science and Evo online. We actually uh, have that prepared, right? Yeah, so maybe, maybe I'm just wondering, right? I uh, just want to hear from you, right? That uh, how how this uh, swim science program come about? Like, why do you, do, I mean, what kind of effort do you need to do? You really go to like, uh, ask a science teacher or things like that. How, how does it come about? How do you create this? So uh, this idea was like three years ago already. Then I've been like working very small, small bits of pieces of information. So it's like a project that has been procrastinated for three years already. Then finally, because of, of MCO for us, uh, circuit breaker for you, in three weeks, actually in 10 days, we launched it already. In 10 days, we launched wow. the Wow! a lot of content. So it kind of amazed me like, wow. Actually, in such a short time, we can, we can actually do this. And I, I love that concept because um, when, when I was younger, my, my Mandarin, my, my BM wasn't so good. I'm the type that doesn't really do homework. Right but I like to read encyclopedia. So when I read encyclopedia, then I got really interested about it. Then it got me curious. It made me like feel like I want to be a scientist. So I keep breaking down, why is this thing very important? This curiosity is very important where it actually helps us innovate. So then I wanted to have this same, uh, this same feeling as well to pass to my students where when they're learning swimming, they're also starting to get more and more curious. So to me, it's like uh, one of the story that inspired me was Coca-Cola. You know the Coca-Cola bottle, right? It's shaped in a way to actually make it addictive. One. 
And the person who actually come up with this like, was like an aircraft engineer. So he take up like things from his profession, then he applied it to another profession. So I want to, to inspire these kind of things. Where maybe one day something from swimming, they can bring it to the next invention in whatever uh, new career that they have. Nice, nice. This is very wonderful. I think everything's happened for a reason. Uh. Uh, so uh, if your kids are the encyclopedia, you know that uh, they, they are going to for big things soon. <laughs> yeah. All right. So even, okay, so I'm going to ask you a bit more technical questions, right? So this same science program, right? You know, you are teaching seven to 15 years old, right? Hmm. Isn't that there's a huge gap of understanding about it? Do you encounter students of like, I, will, so I, I mean, I assume the younger one probably will have a, have a hard time to understand certain things at the level. So how do you overcome this? So usually we, we break them down by age. Then even from age, we see their maturity. Then from there, we park them to uh, the specific class that belong to their group. So it's very flexible for us to switch uh, the coaches, switch the timing. And as long as we find that they can max up from the class. So instead of everyone, because I've, I've been in, in, in classroom before where there's like 30 of us, then when I cannot understand, uh, I know the teacher is also very helpless because he cannot teach so many different ways to so many different type of people. Uh. So we try to keep our class as small as possible so we can personalize it to different type of maturity when it comes to the, the students. So then they can, they can maximize it. We talk to a 12 years old to 15 years old in a different way. We talk to someone in seven to nine years old in a different way. So that's the, how we categorize them. Oh, wow, that's great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the meaning, right, that um, so student, so even though like the, the more people in the classes of seven years old, there are lesser people of 15 years old, you will still teach, your coaches will still teach. Is that yeah, right? Even, even one will still teach. That, that's our passion. In, in fact, in our swimming school, right, we open seven days a week, eight morning until 10 at night. I, there's very little people in the world that actually does this, not just in Malaysia, but in the world. Because most of the time you have a, a school has a schedule, then you follow the school schedule, right? For us, is we follow the student's time. When is your time, we make time for you. So we, we had that, that thing going for the past uh, 10 years already. So now we also apply this to, to our lessons as well. So in, even with one student, our coaches are passionate enough to teach. Because at the end of the day, it's not about the money. Oh the student can, can understand. Our coach is even so passionate. Huh? There was one student that was like very disruptive in class huh? because he, he has a lesser attention span. So the coach was telling to the parents, can I give you like an additional class one-to-one -one just with him, just to help him out? Huh? Then we asked the coach, you, you know you're not paid extra for that. Right? He said, it doesn't matter. I just want to help the student. Yeah, his name is Coach Kwan. And many of our, our coach also does this as well. And same in the pool and our pool, we also do this kind of thing. So end of the day, a lot of parents are are very happy and i guess that's why we have like 90 percent of uh, return rate so 90 percent of the students who actually go into the class on the first month they renew on the second month so that's where wow. we, we find a high pride in that we feel that it's working thank you to all the coaches thank you mm. all already <laughs> i feel already i also feel like wow you all are really overworked alcoholic uh, but it's like really the passions of teaching all about that you are so blessed to you know have a group of uh, like very passionate coaches right, who would like to give more to the kids. Yeah, I think right now a lot of uh, uh, like, like in the market, people will say you know, the Shifu will only teach the you know, out of 10 skills, right? they only teach 9 and keep 1. You know? But I feel that your coach is like give 11 to all yeah. the kids. Uh. <laughs> give 11 and we hope that they can take back 13 from their own creation. <laughs> <laughs> that's good, that's good, that's good. Alright, so let's move on to our Evo Online, right? We have this, uh, actually it's more like a workout session, huh? Yeah, so maybe can you share about this? Like, how long is the session? Like, per session, how many people are you watching? Because, like, uh, like kids are very rowdy sometimes, right? It was injury kind of thing will happen. How is yeah, one coach are you going to handle all these students? So far, we keep our, our class quite small. So I think maximum we had, like, 10, 12 students. But averagely, it's about 8, 8 to 10. So for this EVO Online, it's more for people who can already swim. They just need, needed something to, to uh, motivate them. Sometimes uh, they, they have plans, but sometimes they, they lack discipline to follow or they don't have somebody to like push them, motivate them. Or, or parents uh, don't really exercise. Parents want someone to help them exercise. So I think this is more suitable for them. So they can do some land exercise and there's a lot of it is related to swimming, the muscles that's needed for swimming. So there's a lot of exercise, like even like standing on the floor plank then with a the freestyle or the legs coming up and, and kick, just like our baby shark video. Yeah, so a lot of uh, exercise relevant to swimming. 
Wow, that's great. That's great. Yeah, correct. We just posted out our the 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 Siren Twelve uh, Baby Shark Challenge. Huh? So for those who ever watch it, you can go and watch it later. At the our Facebook page. It's very impressive. You can do it with the song, right? With the fluttering yeah. kick, right? The programs are, are thirty minutes, but. We, we always say 30 minutes, uh, but so far I see statistically we always end like 40, 45. It seems like our class is always, our class we say is 45 minutes, but very often we aim to finish at 60 minutes. Uh. So it's officially it's 30 minutes. Uh. Nice. How many sessions, uh, how many of sessions of this in one week? Um, for our exercise, we have three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and we are expanding the time as well. What we do is we we try to look at what's the, the student's time. Then most of the time they can make it at this time, then we, we create the time for, for them. So if there's like additional time that they need, they cannot make it this time, then we we have coaches who are standing by for those time, those timing as well. But if you want like specifically then I go, then it's like Monday, Friday, and Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Okay. Okay, so for those who are watching, right? Yeah, so this is uh, just a reminder of you. This is uh, this is what uh, EJ have been sharing. This is their company came out with their own uh, creative improvised uh, virtual swimming lessons, but practical and theory, right? We actually have the package also ready for that also in our next slide, right? So yeah. I realized that uh, they just they not just can actually just go for one science, right? They can go with a uh, mixed match of the classes as well, correct? Oh, yeah, yeah. So there are some people that said, oh, I already have my exercise program. I'm very interested in your science thing. I want my kids to fall in love with science because maybe my kids is not too into science, but I want him to be more interested in science, be more curious. They can go for only the science program. Or those who actually wants to keep their kids fit, they can go for only the exercise program. Or you can even mix and match. So we have uh, two, two different packages. One is either you pay for eight classes and we are not too strict about the, the expiry. Lah. So you can do it once a week or you can do it twice a week, you can, you can even do it three times a week. But if you want to do like more than twice a week, I would recommend you go for the unlimited package. No? So with the unlimited package, you can come every day. You can come morning, evening, night, different session, you can come for science and, and the exercise anytime you want. There's a lot of students who do that. Sometimes they, they even go for the same topic because it's interesting. They want to relearn again and ensure that they, they remember it more. So it's at, we, we don't force anyone. It's up to them whether they want to join or not. Also, that's why they have this uh, package one is more for people uh, that would like to have fixed timing. Package two is like, you know, like just want to like anytime I really want to go back and re uh, refresh or any timing that suits me that I can join the class. Is that right? Yeah, the first one is more like not enough time. I like to join, but okay. I don't have time. Maybe I can only do once a week. I only, only can do twice a week. Ah. Then you go for the fixed class, huh? fixed eight class. Huh? Great, 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 great. Yeah, so EJ actually is very generous, right? He also extends to our MOA members that we actually can go to try three free trials. Normally it's just one free trial sign. And also any class we, we can mix and match, right? To go for any swing science or evolve online, which is the workout, right? Swing science hmm. is the theory. Yeah, so hmm. even parents can also go and can CC also, right? Correct. Yeah, yeah. so for those for those who just, uh, I mean like uh, more interested in this, right? You actually right, can actually scan a QR code. And uh, this is only um, eligible until 2359 because uh, EJ site has a lot of students uh, lined up already. So we try to you know, fit into the programs that we can, you know. And also we don't want to, the coach work so hard. <laughs> yeah, the coach is really, really giving the best, I know. Yeah, so maybe right, we can see if uh, there's questions on the floor. If uh, if no, right, I want I would like to ask uh, a questions from you. So with this uh, uh, COVID-19, right, were you just doing this for COVID-19? After COVID-19, will you still continue doing this? We will still continue doing this because once we did it, we realized because at first when we started, we think maybe this is like a replacement, temporary replacement. But when you see how interesting it is, how it actually can, can help people understand swimming better, fall in love with swimming more. So it becomes a complementary product. They can actually have a pool session and do this at the same time. So we will continue this and we will hire more and more coaches for, for this itself. Yeah, so it'll be a long term wow. thing. And there's a lot of countries. Uh, we actually have someone who's actually interested to bring this to Thailand already. So this is something I'm very, very excited that we can help more people in different countries. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, so I just want to share that like, uh, this one is from Malaysia and uh, Singapore, I don't think we have this yet. Yeah, I think we, we, we've heard of uh, Happy Fish Swim School. It's quite big in Singapore right now. And mm. uh, just, just, just want to sh understand right, how you're different from them. Happy Fish, yeah? Okay. Um, Happy Fish, I think recently just came to Malaysia as well. They are very big. They have a lot of money. Because most of the time when it comes to the 
they, they will appear in places that has a lot of traffic. So there's big signboards and um, they're very popular with students, with, I think for toddlers, like babies. I'm not sure until what, what age, but I think they're famous for baby uh, lessons or toddlers lessons. So that's, that's not our target market because ours we start at our guaranteed program that learn to swim in 12 hours is for seven and above. But we also have program for four to six years old. So I think it's, uh, we, we, we don't see as, as a, there's any clash uh, between these two, uh, between us and Happy Fish. Nice. I think it's also you have your own uh, pool of uh, uh, target audience as well. And Happy Fish have their own target audience. Because the market is so big, right? We can't oh, yeah. cover it all. Yeah, yes, so I, I think that's, that's make your different also. And also you all actually came out with this uh, virtual swimming or program as at least right to add values to the swimmers out there as well, especially for the kids between seven to fifteen. All right. So I just want to also share that right. Uh, go back to the slide right that just now we mentioned right. Um, this is actually very good for parents. Right for the parents out here. Yeah, because I what I see is that this is like the extra curriculum of home based learning. Right in Singapore right now we, we talk about a lot of home based learning. I know I'm I'm sure that Malaysia also have this. And I see the uh, the parents right now are very stressed uh, because they have to be full time parents, have to be full time their work, and also how their housework and also cooking. Yeah, so the parents right now are very stressed right now. They're, and I think that this one actually can take the attention, shift the attention away from the kids, so that they have something to focus and uh, to learn this life skill, right? Yeah, so it's a very additional benefits for for the parents and the kids. So. Yeah, so I just want to take this chance to share about Swim in 12, uh, the country, uh, the company itself, just in case you want to find out more about them. So Swim in 12, right, they actually based in Malaysia. And right now, they are one of the fastest and uh, highest growth, highest rating uh, company, swimming company, right, in the region. Right, you can actually find out their social proof, right, online, Facebook, and Google, they see a lot of testimonial. We actually have a lot right now in the chat itself for those, uh, your, your loyal customer actually are watching also. Uh. They are so blessed, you know. Yeah, thank you all for supporting EJ here. They actually have also featured in uh, media, like in, um, in, in, in different countries in Malaysia also. And uh, I just want to make a disclaimer, right? The swim in, 12, swim in 12 hours guarantee is only on the pool, right? Not this virtual learning, oh, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. and <laughs> earlier, you mentioned that money back. There's, there's no money back. So the 12 hours, how it works is you pay an amount for 12 hours. We keep teaching you. If you still cannot get it, we keep teaching you for free until you can get it. So that's like a one year expiry. So, but majority nice. will get it in three to six months. Uh. Okay, can. But the one you must go to the pool, lah. Yeah, then you know how to pool, swim, yeah. uh. But at least, right? This correct. But you, this at least this online program, right? You get your kids, right? Excited, you know, enough to go to the pool, and they can pick up faster because they got the mindset, theory, and principle right at the start already, right? Yeah, so those are the days that we are just like, you know, our era time where we just have to report the coach at the swimming pool and then just jump in already. Yeah, so that actually creates a lot of phobias with some of the kids, huh? Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. So, also, um, I want to also take this chance also to actually share that uh, EJ also helped with uh, students who overcome fear of uh, water, correct? Fear of uh, phobia in swimming also, correct? Mm -hmm. Am I right? That's my, that's my yeah. favorite type. The more difficult the student, yeah. the more I like it. <laughs> okay, so for those right who have difficulties, uh, you know, because your kids have some phobia or you yourself have phobia, please talk to EJ also. Okay, we, we can't we can't uh, meet him face to face, but we always have this uh, revelation on this online technology. Yeah, that's good. That's one of the great things. And for those people who from different country, like even like from here Singapore, you know, we have friends from uh, Indonesia and uh, also from Thailand, right? You also can access to this online. Uh, swimming lessons because you know technology is borderless, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Did I miss out anything, uh, EJ? Did I miss out sharing about swimming twelve? I think you've covered a lot. Thank you for the generous. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. No problem. All right. Because of time constraint, uh, we will uh, we will actually uh keep it to here. And also, I want to also take this chance to share about our MOA to our MOA members and uh for those who are actually interested, right, can sign up for our. Mem uh, care package you can actually free for MOA members and uh, we have a virtual reward card and you can have lifetime access to all the courses video and cheat sheets from our sports night guest speakers that we have in the past and every week right we are accumulating uh, new uh, informations and contents for you and uh, to help you with tips and guidance 
and we are so grateful that tonight we're going to add on this uh, bonus from uh, uh, because of uh, EJ support. Uh, we have this three three sessions of uh, online swimming classes. Okay, for with theory and also with the workout, you can mix and match. All right, so it's just like sign up our members. It's just two dollars, you know, just to support uh, my my staff also got hit by the COVID nineteen as well. <laughs> yeah, let's support each other in this sports industry. Like what EJ mentioned, we need to actually uh support this uh sports industry because you know if there's not enough empowerment in this sports industry, no less and less people will go into doing this, but just go to do e esports, right? <laughs> Nothing against esports, just that. We, more, we need more people to be more active after circuit breaker, uh, after uh, COVID-19 as well. All right, so next, uh, two, before... Two sing dollars, I... uh. not, not $20, uh. two, two, two sing dollars only. Because two dollars, yes. Two, two. It's two USD, two USD. Oh. Yeah, it's just two oh. dollars only. Two USD. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because we want to support everybody in this COVID-19 and it's, um, and right now it's a pre-launch or so. Yeah, correct. Thank you for, for your support also. Okay, so uh, I have one more last question to EJ. Okay, before that, let me check. If you all have any questions, please, you know, like comment in our yeah. chat board, right? You know, if you like it, also please like this and share this also. Any questions before we, we say bye? We want to say bye-bye to EJ. <laughs> yes or no? No? Okay, so if you have, all right, faster ask, huh? because I'm going to ask uh, new questions to, uh, last questions to EJ. Okay. okay. EJ, so because we all know that after COVID-19, right, this, um, it's not going to be normal anymore. This is what uh, worldwide leaders have been saying. So with this new normal, right, how do you see this uh, swimming industry going to transform? Um, I think more experiments still need to be, to be done. I think first one will be whether the, the, how chlorine affects uh, the virus. Then second is... The, I think the big difference would be social distancing. How do we have more space within, within the pool? Um, the rest will be the same as restaurants. Just check in, uh, have some contact tracing, have some space when we check in. Um, there are some, some ideas from overseas where, where they were sharing, uh, don't open the toilet, probably just go into, the, the, there's a common shower outside, go in the pool, go home and shower. So there's less uh, touching of the same thing. But I think there will be a lot of uh, experiments here and there, just just to see how how do we bring how do we uh, have less people in the pool and still run what we do. So one of the things I can think of is scheduling. We have a scheduling where how many people like let's say we keep to ten people in the pool, then uh, just book up to ten, then everybody starts booking the next hour. Ten come up, then ten go in. So I think that would be a, a good control system that we can have. Mm. Wonderful, wonderful. I guess also this, uh, do you think, do you find that a lot more people or uh, swimming industry gonna have like online courses like you soon? Hopefully. <laughs> I, I hope there'll be more, more people because the pie is so big. One of the inspiration that I saw, right, you see, um, you, you've, you know how to use Excel, right? So in Excel, yeah. when it comes to, to Microsoft, they have this free sharing uh, Excel, Excel uh, course, you know? But then there's people actually selling how to use Excel, very simple one, and it's like 50, 60 sting dollars. And it's like they sell hundreds of thousands of, of this course, although that's, that's free and there's better one out there. No? So I, I think there's more people should do it as long as you can touch the market with more value, more people start thinking about swimming. And it's good to have competition. It's good to have healthy competition where eventually there, there'll be more and more people start looking into that industry. Just like bubble milk tea, no? There's so many other things to drink. La. But why now we are so crazy about bubble milk tea? Yes, they grow as an industry. Everybody start looking into, into that. Uh, if I want to drink something, what other type of bubble milk tea I have? Huh? So same for sports. Huh? So as long as our sports industry keep getting more and more competent, more value for, for people, people will still keep thinking of sports than, than any other thing. Wonderful sharing. I think I, I really admire EJ have such a big heart you know, into the industry level. I think this one is like most of the business owner, I right, have to learn from it as well. You know, instead of right, just keep focusing on uh, how to, you know, how can he get and take from the industry. EJ, your mindset is about giving. It's always giving, giving and giving. I think that's why, right, uh, you're, you attract a lot of good people, a lot of great coaches, and a lot of uh, loyal raving fans. All right, you can see that a lot, a lot of you. Thank you so much for your support. Of it. I wish that we have more longer time to talk about it. And also because it's Friday night, 
I think uh, you might like you want to spend more time for your kids and also the coaches need to rest or so. Yeah, so we're gonna like, uh, uh, and I mean like say goodbye to here over here and I get to shout out for our next episode. All right, so for those right, um, have to, I mean like loved our sports night. I just want to say that uh, th thank you for your support all the time. Next week, we are just gonna share about travel, okay? We're gonna share about travel because this is gonna be a big topic, right? That people are wondering how it's gonna travel, it's gonna change after COVID-19. And first of all, we need to, I think a lot of people's uh, mindset about traveling is gonna change. And uh, the purpose of their traveling is also gonna change. Yeah, so we are very blessed to have my friends support. Uh, they are Scott's from uh, Beyond Expeditions. He's the uh, owner of this exotic trip. He's organized a lot, he used to organize a lot of trip of Mang uh, in Mongolia in India, even Gobi Desert and things like that. So he, you know, like he actually have had his insights about like this travel industry. And I'm very glad to have my friends as well, Henry, who is a DJ from uh, Yes933, right? So to, to come and share, he's also an avid traveler. I mean, I, I'm, I'm very grateful to have him uh, to come and support this, uh, uh, our sports night. So if you like to watch this, please take faster mark down on your calendar and uh, it's on Saturday, okay? It's not on Friday night anymore. Uh, for this episode only, okay, on uh, Saturday night at 8 p.m. All right, so because we, we want to also invite our weekend crowd in as well and also to fit into our DJ's timing as well. All right, so if you love what we're doing, please like us and give us some testimony and feedback. And also if you are, you love to you know, explore more about this uh, sports night and also want to hear different topics for different industry, please also uh, comment and let us know what sports that you love us to feature. Okay, so that we will actually come out with the content and just share with you, all right, what they're doing. All right, so thank you everybody for your great, great, great support and uh, your passions uh, on this. And thank you so much, EJ, uh, for sharing such good um, inspirations to us. All right, so let's, um, yeah, so let's uh, say goodbye to everybody. Oh, before Bye -bye. that, any last one, EJ, you want to share with your audience here? Oh, I just want to thank everyone for, for coming, for making time. Angeline, Elson, Mel Ng, Dashi, my whole Swim in 12 family, uh, Coach Mani, Coach Rose, all the, the, the swimming kaki is also here. Yeah, I see Ku Chai Lin is here. Daniel Bago just logged in. Thank you so much. Thanks, Penny. For, oh, hi, Daniel Bago. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm a new fan. <laughs> <laughs> okay, continue, continue. Please share, please share. Please thank all of them. Thank, thank you for taking the time to come for this sharing and spending your, your precious time with us. Huh? So look, look forward to see you soon. Yeah, so thank you everybody for the night. So hope to see you all soon. Bye. Bye.